Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be um, kind of split up into chunks. It's, uh, I feel like it's been raining non-stop and it has been chilly. And here we are in the middle of May and i am got layers on, which is uh, not typical. So I'm in a situation and I'm sure everyone watching this video has certainly been there before where you really have to play with the weather windows to try and get things done in the lawn. Now, with all of the rain, the lawn has been growing non-stop and you have no choice but to mow, even when the grass is wet. So I did get an opportunity this week to get out and mow. Now it's a quick um, get on, get off, very unsavory, unenjoyable mow, but it's got to get done, right? So um, there are areas of my lawn that are really saturated and when I can walk on and I can hear the soil kind of sloshing underneath my feet. And so I want to be really careful in those areas that I'm not digging in with the wheels of the mower and I'm not digging in with my feet because I don't want to tear up the turf. So um, with that being said, I also don't want to make any applications of granular fertilizer on those types of areas because it's just going to leach. It's, it's no point when the grass is wet and one, you're going to get some fertilizer burn because the granules are going to stick to the blades of grass. But you also don't want it to leach. You don't want the, the fertilizer to run off and then the grass doesn't even get the benefit of the fertilizer application. Now fortunately I was able to get done with the mow, that sloppy mow job, uh, right before it started raining again, of course, so I'm <laughs> pretty much done for the day at that point, um, and hope things dry out the following day. So fast forward to day two, um, we didn't get any rain really late afternoon going into the morning, so this is a good opportunity for, for me to start putting those fertilizer applications down. Now. Really, I thought that the lawn was still too wet at this point to do a granular application, although I did have some liquid applications that I had uh, that I needed to get done at this point. So um, Memorial Day is right around the corner, and of course I want my lawn to look as good and green as it can possibly be, and micronutrients are what's going to do that for you. Of course, everyone knows nitrogen is really what pushes a lot of color if you're on a NPK program or a macronutrient program, but if you're supplementing with micronutrients like iron, boron, calcium, sulfur, manganese, copper, etc., that is what's really going to allow you to hold color for a long time and get a really deep, dark green color to your turf. So what I do generally is I use a liquid fertilizer, and you can find these fertilizers pretty much anywhere. Lawn Star makes uh, a micronutrient pack. You can get it from Site One, and what I'm using, you can also get this from the Green County Fertilizer folks and Microgreen, and it contains a lot of micronutrients. And what you do is, this is gonna be a foliar application, so I'm not going to do a soil drench in this case. One, because my soil is already saturated and it really wouldn't do a whole lot. And two, when you do a foliar application, the grass blades are able to absorb those micronutrients really rapidly. And a lot of times you'll see a color response a lot of times overnight or sometimes within a few hours, depending on uh, the current weather conditions. So I had a few things that I wanted to go ahead and get down. So I'm going to mix up a cocktail here in that I'm also going to do a humic acid application here to help chelate the micronutrients and help it absorb the fertilizer um, as quickly as possible. And because I'm going to be coming back the next day with a granular application of the X screen, I'm using a low nitrogen content liquid fertilizer. I really don't want to push too much growth right now, especially with all this rain that we're having. And being able to come out here and mow with any frequency is really unpredictable at this point. Now with this application, once it's completed, um, I'm going to let it sit on the grass blades. Typically, if I wasn't going to get any rain, I would water this in with the irrigation system. I am supposed to get more rain shortly after this application into that evening. So I'm just going to allow the rain to really water that in. And of course, like clockwork, we got some more rain. So uh, the plan worked out uh, pretty much as I had planned it. Now as we move into day three, of course, um, if you've watched my previous video about spoon feeding with X Green, I'm putting 17 pounds of product here to cover my 5,500 square foot lawn. And I'm just going to spread this out at a very light rate. It's very difficult to see it coming out of the spreader, but with a spreader like the one that I have with the Scott's SR2000, or if you're using more of a commercial spreader like a Lesco or a Spiker, it is easier to see the product coming out because you can see it hit the impeller from the back of the spreader. Now, in my case, I have this cone, this orange cone that drives down into the impeller and I can see how much product is coming out and hitting the impeller, even though I can't really see it spreading across the grass. So it makes it easier for me to dictate how much fertilizer is coming out of the hopper at any given time. 
Um, so really what I do is I just go on a very light setting and I make an even application across the lawn going in multiple directions and multiple passes and I do this really until the fertilizer is just gone. Now what would normally take just a few hours to get done has taken several days um, and so <laughs> Uh, well, you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, the job's got to get done. I got to get these applications in. So um, just remember, if you really want to push that green color, especially in the summer, the micronutrients are going to be your friend. So uh, you can find those just about anywhere in a granular form, in a liquid form. I personally like the liquid. I like to do the foliar applications of those. And um, I want to come back maybe in a day or two and take a look at this, maybe do some before and after pictures to see exactly, you know, can you see it with the naked eye on what the color differences look like in the lawn. So um, I appreciate you guys tagging along and uh, I guess we'll pray for the sun and see you in the next one.